Hey Virgo, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading for the 15th through the 21st. Any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have personals open right now. They're $25. You can also check me out on Patreon if you'd like. That information is down below. Um, what else? I do have a tarot course open also, okay? Uh, everything that that includes is down in the description box, okay? Ooh, I like that, okay? I like that that came out in the reverse position. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get started here. You have the Empress as your overall energy. Gemini had the Empress as their overall energy too, so you could have some Gemini in your chart, um, maybe some Taurus or Libra in your chart here, Virgo, but the Five of Swords is your first card out, okay? So let's take a look at that and see what's going on with it. Um, I feel like there could be some, I feel like there could be some pressure here, some demands being made. What's going on with that Five of Swords? I mainly feel that coming off the Knight of Swords. We'll see who that is and what's going on with that. Um, you could be a mother, or there could be something significant going on with a mother here. The Empress is your overall energy, okay? The Empress represents a mother. I'm not just reading for females. I'm not just reading for mothers, okay? Um, you have the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, showing up to clarify that uh, Five of Swords. I feel like there could be a water sign or an air sign looking back on something, wanting some kind of return. They're wanting to return to you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I think they played a lot of head games here. Basically, I feel like there's somebody here who's learning a really tough lesson, okay? Um, I also feel as if there's a lot of stress mentally okay i feel like there's something here that's on your mind that's really stressing you out um you're really curious about how something is going to play out long term because the will of fortune is here um so yeah that's a cycle of some sort you're wondering when something is going to begin where it's going to go how it's going to end if it's going to end right so i feel like there is some kind of certainty in regards to that there's some kind of news coming in i feel like there is the birth of something new here though with that uh empress showing up as your overall energy so basically i do feel a cycle is closing out here and a new one is beginning you have the knight of swords gemini energy here this is where i feel that pressure or some demands being made um I feel a really passionate, strong energy coming from this at the same time. What's going on with that? Determination is what that is. What's going on with that Knight of Swords? Eight of Pentacles. Virgo, that's your energy. You are very fixated on something at this point in time. And you're not backing down from what it is that you want, from what it is that you're working on here. Working towards Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. But you're, you're under a lot of stress. Like, that's where the pressure is. That's where the stress is or demands. You could be taking care of a lot, okay? Maybe taking care of a lot of people here. I feel like there is some information coming in, though. Ace of Swords. Wow, that's a victory. There is a major breakthrough coming in here for you, Virgo. And I don't think that, <laughs> I think there could be some family involved here specifically, but it doesn't have to be family. This could be someone you were married to or lived with or had a long-term commitment with, but... Either way it goes, whatever this Ten of Wands is here, whatever it is that you've been carrying, there is a major breakthrough with that that nobody expected here. So I feel like that information could be coming in the week of the 15th, that you have accomplished something, you've achieved something. This Ten of Wands, you can put that down. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Like there is some major change happening here. You have the hair font, Taurus energy. Um, I feel like this could be shocking to the people who know what you have been dealing with here, that Ten of Wands energy, okay? Um, the hair fun. It's possible maybe you were trying to build a business. People didn't think that was going to be successful. It's successful, okay? It's. <laughs> I feel like this is way beyond what you imagined here. What's going on with the hair font? The chariot. That's a victory, powering through obstacles. Or it's simply that there was something really chaotic that you were going through here, Virgo, and you are moving through that now. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's something that, uh, I feel like that's something that for some of you, maybe you didn't even really expect to move through this. Yeah, judgment. I feel like you were looking at this like, can I do it? Can I do it? And I think you, you end up doing it here. Um, you have the hair font. So some of you, there could be a move like ju uh, judgment, the chariot, the hair font. Like you could be deciding that there's somewhere else you want to go. Could involve a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces here. Maybe an Aries or Taurus, but I feel like there could be someone you want to move towards or move in with. If you're in a higher level of commitment for some of you here, Virgo, you could be wanting to move in with someone or vice versa, of course, or just progression, forward movement and love, okay? I feel like your love life is improving at this time, okay? You have the Eight of Swords reverse. I feel like you're breaking free from something else here at the same time. Jupiter in Gemini, somebody could have that placement. You don't have to, but that's another thing. I, I feel like... 
Some of you, it's breaking free from something here where people didn't think that you could, all right? They didn't think that you could get out of a situation, all right? Um, but again, like there's a birth of something new. You, you break out of that and it's just like you have major success with something else here. What's going on with the Eight of Swords in the reverse position? Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Wow. Somebody could have Venus in Aries or Venus in Cancer. What else? What else here? The Hermit. That's your energy, Virgo. So, yeah, you're showing up very strongly here in a really strong position. And I think that this is this is either a side of you that no one has ever seen before or this is a side of you that people didn't ever think they were going to get back. So, um, yeah, that's pretty powerful. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's gone down here, what you're breaking out of, to be completely honest. I have no clue. But that Four of Wands energy, you know where you're headed, and it's somewhere really big, okay? You have the Two of Cups here as well. Some of you, this could be that you have um, not been in a commitment for a long time. You're finally in a really healthy, harmonious connection, relationship. It's possible that maybe you chose really bad people in the past, and now you are choosing someone who is really good for you, you know, something really healthy. This is something that you have waited on. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, like this is going to bring you a lot of happiness. It's going to be stable. This is someone who is conscious. They're self-aware, you know. Um, but I really do feel strongly that your love life is improving. And you're breaking out of um, some kind of toxic uh, belief system here as well. You have the Ace of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on with the Ace of Cups? What's going on with the Ace of Cups here? Four of Cups, Moon in Cancer, the Sun, Leo, and the Six of Swords. Um, I feel like you see yourself leaving your roots, especially those of you where you've never traveled a whole lot or you've never, um, you've not seen a whole lot. You know, I think you're wanting to see more. So I feel like that is something that you're planning here with that Ace of Cups. It's like, you, you have what you need to, to see the things that you want to see, to do the things that you want to do. Four of Cups, he's sitting at the trunk of this tree here. So you feel like you've been in one place for too long, even if that's even if that doesn't involve a move or wanting to see more in the world, right? Um, but I feel that for a lot of you, that is what, what this is about here. I just feel that you've been in one place for too long, basically, and you're like, something's got to give, something's got to change. I'm not happy here in this situation. The sun card, that's something new, okay? It's happiness, high vibrations, joy. You're moving right towards it. Six of swords, that's progression for movement. I also feel like you've been dealing with something really chaotic, and it's blowing over now, okay? Um, all that's dying down with that six of swords energy. Um, you've got those, like, really chaotic waters down here, and he's moving on to the really calm, still waters over there on the other side. So I feel like you're, you're just pretty much going where your soul takes you. And you have the tower here as well. So there's some more chaos, but this could just be referring to um, something that's already happened. We'll see. We got Scorpio and Aries energy here. There could be a blow up with a mother about this move here, okay? Or a feminine energy. Um, there could be a blow up with that emperor showing up here. However, I feel that, you know, there's just... Mainly I feel that some kind of uh, tower has taken place and the empress is birthing something new out of this, out of this tower, okay? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Someone here could have Mercury in Virgo, Seven of Pentacles. Uh, somebody could have Saturn in Taurus. All right. We've got a couple here. I'm just going to take them. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles, Mercury in Taurus. We have the Queen of Wands, the Death card, and the Six of Cups, Aries, Scorpio, and um, more Scorpio. I feel a really powerful transformation here after something chaotic. Like, I think for a small portion of you, you may have felt like, something was over here and it's not okay um that's another energy that i'm feeling here like you just felt very shut out by someone or something here um that you were trying to get off the ground like you were trying to make something grow here i mean you have the seven of pentacles showing up right under that under that you were waiting on this ten of cups here basically and i think you weren't only waiting on it you were working towards it and it felt like the more you work towards it like the less you received, you know, the more you lost. Some of you, you just felt like you kept investing and nothing, nothing was coming to fruition. Nothing was happening here, all right? I feel like you stayed determined, though. I really do. You have this Queen of Wands here. I feel like you stayed determined. You have the Death card here, and I feel like the chaos is over. That ends, and you have the Six of Cups here. This is burying the past to bring about brighter days because it's Sun and Scorpio energy. It's that energy of death, but by death, this is like a transformation, okay? Um, because you have this Ten of Pentacles right here, and the Empress is your overall energy. Energy. So again, I feel like there is a major breakthrough here that just people didn't see you coming back from this, whatever this was here. People did not see you coming back from that tower, all right? I think that really did a number on you. But um, yeah, there is a breakthrough here, Virgo. 
mainly financially. I'm feeling mainly financially, uh, but it also has something to do with your with your heart and your belief system. Okay, so um, that's what I'm seeing for you. I hope that you will watch out for your other signs. It is 3:32, and my phone's on 32 <laughs> percent. Um, pretty crazy. Anyways. Um, yeah, I hope you'll watch out for your other signs. Don't forget that I have personals open right now as well. Uh, you could also check me out on Patreon. And, of course, you could also um, check out the details on the tarot course that I'm offering. All that's down below. But, Virgo, this is where we part. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And you all enjoy your week. Bye.